Rumin, we chia vote mà giang, chia vote phai bộ vote mà giang đây bằng cọp nâu nong đây. Chẳng cả bà bà mình nế Hồn Chẳng nành bảo vệ cứ tha Mình về chỉ nạ hiếm Mà mình chỉ ở vốt dòng ngạc mùa hiếm Nơi chăm tầng giúp tầng thay Nó ọp khai Hốt đó chẳng nàm thiệt Nó hốt đó ọp chẳng nàm thiệt mình Mình nói chăm ôi tầm mà nước tập bảo vệ Tụ Chẳng Hồn thầm mặt vệ cứ tha mình nói chứ cứ chia ở một muối ai diêm ca ban tầng dục tầng ngay ai đâu phải trăm ca đâu cả lại nâng ở dân đạo bên đâu nâng đâu nâng phần hồn mà thưa ở dân thưa ở dân miền Panh Hà là thà cua tròn trăm mà Panh Hà mình này mà mình mình qua bay ra đây I'm one of the returnee from the, the U.S. to come back and contribute my work in Cambodia. Landmine has a great impact, socio-economic impact in Cambodia. Every day, 2.5 people is blasted by landmine. Unfortunately, about half of that are children. The government of Cambodia estimated almost 12 million mines in the ground. In the past nine years, Cambodia had cleared a little over one million mines only. So we figure out it will take another hundred years, if not more, to clear all the mines in Cambodia. When, when I got hired from my first job in 97, one of the qualifications was that Am I willing to work with Khmer Rouge defectors? Uh, I said, in a dragging way, I said, uh, yes. Um, scary thought and also disgusting thought. I come from my family of children and people for what? Khi ông chỉ còn cả gì con đâu ở trường là bận, nó khai một phong phú. Hay ở trong bán châu thư thì hiện tăng vị trí nam một phần một muôn rồi chết sập. 
cả nó nấu tam là món chuẩn bát miên nằm qua một rồi chặt sắt nó miên phơi rót và hà sẩm đạch nó có miên ở nấu chuẩn bát nó có khi miên cho là na là nạ xê cũng đòi chiết mà chúng có cho rùm tăng vị pê nó hốt nó mới cho na nó cái ao chúng ta mai có hòm In March 1969, during the Vietnam War, B-52 bombers from the United States began attacking Viet Cong bases inside neutral Cambodia. Soon, these attacks were extended to include Cambodian villages opposed to Lan Nol's government in Phnom Penh. In the chaos that followed the bombings, the Khmer Rouge found they had growing support in the villages. The civil war that followed would last for 30 years. Landmines were laid by Lan Nol's government to control the Khmer Rouge, and then by the Khmer Rouge to help keep the people under their command. Chẳng miến là đạn miến sở nè, thì mỗi cái thai dân chỉ cọp chỉ đấy, ai cọp biển nó không đầy, đầy trên có ba viên mà lớn, cái thì pi tiết, dân đạn nào lực cốt. Chong sai lít and tung. Cut plow. Chong sai lít and tung. Cut pray. Cut wheel. I told you a bong. Nong ti tang. Look up long lai yung. Mui tiết. Pay the dog. Kuin plow. Kuin plow. Robots a trown. Kuin plow. Bossa trown. Ha. But then I yung that out with that. That now two thumb a coop. Which hope. Vì chụp hiện đại tiện về thầu riêng đại rồi, chẳng về ăn, nhưng ăn đại thế, ăn đại ở việt tiện thế, nhưng tao đã đại thầm riêng kia, pi mai bay mai mua pi bay mai mua pi bay mai mua pi bay mai mua tám phần một hộp, và pi bay mai mua pi bay mai mua hai dương, và lại xài nó, hai người coi trăm cả trạ, nhưng mà lại xài nhưng coi trăm nó miếng cả lục, rồi miếng coi chơi, anh coi cha mà nắng, về là cái đào mỏ dương cả trạ. In 1979, the Vietnamese drove the Khmer Rouge from power, and they in turn laid the largest number of landmines. But the Khmer Rouge continued their resistance well into the 1990s, laying landmines as part of their guerrilla warfare. The civil war started in Cambodia in 1970. I was one of the survivors of the Holocaust um, period 1975 to 1979. Between 1975 to 1979, Cambodians fell into a communist regime living with this leader called Pol Pot, namely the leader of Khmer Rouge. Out of 8 million Cambodian population, the Cambodian government estimated that 2 million people were um, killed from, by starvation or were, were murdered. Okay, you know? Young man, you know, you Ông gặp hiếm nó còn đọc nhóm trên thì cái lãnh bị dụt. Đó phía xa nhà của họ mình nó bị hạ ở thấu. Phía xa nhà của họ mình nó bị hạ ở thấu khi ông còn mơ khinh. Thầy dưỡng nó đua luôn. Đua luôn cùi nó nó lại mình nâng. Phía nó bằng đăng thầy dưỡng nó thua nếu nó chọn mình. Chập đam tổ hạp nếu mà xa nhưng mà phía nó có chiếm nó có chập đam hồ khẳng này. ไอ้กิจจองกระโดดมันก็มาเอาเจงเชียมให้ดาวเปลี่ยนกิจไซน์ล้างเปลี่ยนแต่ล้างน้องยังเอาเกิจไซน์เชิงยังล้างเลยเ
yêu mến bọt thì sao được chẳng Cả nó ở chiếm xa lạp ấy Cảm ơn các bạn đã theo dõi và hãy subscribe cho kênh Ghiền Mì Gõ Để không bỏ lỡ những video hấp dẫn Hãy subscribe cho kênh Ghiền Mì Gõ Để không bỏ lỡ những video hấp dẫn Hãy subscribe cho kênh Ghiền Mì Gõ Để không bỏ lỡ những video hấp dẫn Từ rồi nấu tạm tầm bán chế đáy nấu ở Phật Tây Thầy Sẵn khai bằng khai bởi thầm bản nắng hay bởi to tạ tiết trong những cái hình phí Nẹ bì ca đó, có nói bì Bì ca hỏi là trong bạc bằng ấy khá Thì mỗi bạc bằng ở vẹn như vẹn Bạc bằng cài xăm thì chẳng tấu hay thì bì tiết Nẹ thằng ơn nó, bán khai luôn tấu chỉ chôn cây cỏ Đói xa thả, vì chụp thư thì hiến tầng lọc màu vĩnh Ất miên sẽ tự cạnh đoàn đáy Ất miên đầy xe rái, Ất miên đầy dùm cá Nhật lắc Chẳng thêm vật miên cầm đất muối Bằng cao thầm mà cùng Làm mấy chuối đó Chôn bì cá nó Cá bằng cao thầm mà cùng bọc nhóm nó Thêm sẵn kết khơi như Ông ca nên nếu chạy bẹp bọn Nên ông ca chôn bì ca chá đơn Bạn ta Ca thư bỏ ông ca nó mình toàn Tớ tam tầm rau ca bỏ chôn bì ca đây Rau ca đây Nhưng khơi miên mùa hạt chẳng Nhưng phải chạp nằm bì cha ná thả Tao bằng cách mà cũng muốn ôi miên ở chân bị cá cho ruộng Although officially not in power, Khmer Rouge strongmen still control some far-flung corners of Cambodia. Tuj Sorli found unsettled land in one of these districts, about 60 miles northwest of Phnom Penh. He received permission from the local officials to settle there. mà phao này thì phao để khi ông chập đám phơi đầm náo châu tàu pin đất đường sắt xa nấu đầm bón áp bị vọt chôn bị cá đây mà nó trái chưa phao được tê mà mình ai phơi đầm náo tam lan tam ở vật dụng này bán thì phao được tê hay ở miền chi ở bao phố riêng là classica ở bao phố chôn bị cá nó ngồi chôn bị cá nó quạt cá tôi chẳng Hãy cá vào đó, bỏ vào cô vào đó, tạm thương trầy xáy để dưỡng mang cầm nọt nó khẳng hai thà Việc trăm trâu nóng thầy chuộp chùm nọt nọ Có tăng tì lùm nấu, nấu lấy này chân trầy Mà, tăng tì lùm nấu lấy này chân trầy Đói chạp dốc, vì xáy cả xì cam chìa mùa lửa thàn chạm vô bị sai cả xì cam chỉ một tháng cứ dưng thôi ấy nông nông miền phơi sải mà phơi chầm cá môn bốn môn bốn à tàu đồng bộ nắng đón đấy họ nấu tè thơ ấy cá chuông cá sung cá mà sông tiền cái nấu phèn cá chơn này để nhom bị cá sập ngay nữa thà chỉ vượt cá luôn nấu kia chụp cá làm bãi chờ nó hương là bị cá đôi lúc nhom đó là thời ấy kìm ban đó rồi thì ấy cô kìm ban chầm cô kìm ban này chẳng khơi nào chỉ vượt cá khoác hạt cá để chờ cá hộp chục nữa đừng bàn đấy đọt trai chỉ vượt chạm ngay chẳng thà rồi tấu việc khoác được khoảng gì để chẳng khơi nào lúc nhom luôn bị cá nó khơi nào chụp cá làm bãi cá chụp một mai chờ khang rầm Khả rộng thì mỗi thời gian bậc luôn chả lạp đó là nó gọi chọp mỏ đó, nó chụp Dũng phây chiếng Phây chiếng nhằm miếng câu này nè, miếng câu môi con tí nè Và hai chân năm dương cả bầy, cả môi cả phí này nè nhằm thử rồi Bầy chân năm á, chân năm nó cứ bầy chân Con buồn nè 
năm dương cái pi cái bay này hết là năm dương chụp bộ chụp bỏ luôn là dương để thắt rơi thay rơi khi này dương thay rơi khi này lại chụp băng hay nó phải nạp pi chẳng thấy cái ắt toàn đam minh đại đại từ đại từ viên từ mưa cô từ ấy chẳng minh thay minh chúi được chia chân dương tới xanh tập bẹt xanh tập bẹt cà lăm mạch dương bẹt bình cha xanh đã lan và mùi khai và hai chanh mọc tia hai mặt khai bàn tận đại chứ đại chứ nó đâu từ bao lại bẹt ông ca dương khai được bông sấy For a group of amputees to create a village from scratch was an impossible task. Tuj Sirli realized they would need help. He approached various organizations, including one headed by Chaim Sip, a Khmer American. Tuj Sirli came to me when I was the deputy director of an NGO in Kampot back in 1997. And it looks like the tree are growing faster. <laughs> he is a disabled person. Uh, he's a landmine survivor. He has been a, a former soldier for almost 30 years. He said that he feel discriminated, he feel isolated, he feel ignored by the government in Cambodia. June 2000. I know he was former Khmer Rouge colonel. And we have conversation after conversation about how we could help over 200 families living in this area. Eighty percent of the household are disabled, they're landmine victims, and probably 50 percent at least were Khmer Rouge defectors. And they came with their family. They came with an open mind that they need to work from scratch again. They need to clear the forest. They need to make a living from their own hand, bare hand. ເຄີຍຄວນອ້າຍຄລາສຕຸງອ້າຍດໍອ້າຍອ້າງປະປົນປົນກົນ <coughs> Vì chết ở ớt đâu, ớt đâu, ớt đâu, đó là phía bàn. This is like a farmer to farmer project. Will allow us to bring outsider to train group of farmers in any skill that the community needs. Could be vegetable growing plus animal husbandry plus fruit tree grafting and so forth. Or it could be wood carving what could be any handicraft, could be hair cutting, because this village had no hair cutter. So we hope to create at least one or two skills. People in the village could provide the services in their community. They need to work very hard to gain a skill in a short-term period, maximum of three months, and then start making money. Of course, we will support the person while they are in training. We would help them with transportation costs, food, and materials that involve with the training. 80% of the people are farmers. And when you cannot perform anymore, you're sort of like second-class person. And many landmine victims also said that we, we gave up hope in the beginning. 
The reason I wanted to come to Cambodia was to meet with my family and also to contribute my skill and my knowledge back to the country. And one of the main things is um, to undo um, my bad feeling against uh, Khmer Rouge soldiers. I was born in Batamong province. My mother was a school teacher but she had to quit her job because uh, she having so many children. But my father could afford it because he was a medical doctor. March 1970, there was a coup that overthrew um, Prince Sihanouk, um, who was then the head of state. I was in junior high school then. At that time, I could hear a lot of bombing um, sounds a lot of crossfire exchange between Khmer Rouge and the government soldiers. This is where I was born in the, in the 60s. I grew up here for a number of years until 1975, uh, till the Khmer Rouge came into power. They evacuated everybody out of this house, including myself. Um, and we had to move out of this house immediately within, uh, within hours. That was a very scary feeling for everybody. Uh, April 17, 1975. <clears throat> that was three days after the Khmer New Year's. It's about a hundred tanks, and there were um, people with B-40 rockets, with any guns, you name it, screaming very loud, shooting people, kill people on the street for the uh, transportation. So I personally did not take anything with me. I just took my clothes, maybe a few books to read, and I, because I believed that in three days I would be back. And that was the last time I ever saw my house in Batamong town. There were family members who were judges who were former teachers, who were soldiers, were killed. Um, were killed in front of us, were killed near a house, um, not with gunshot, with, uh, with wood, with piece of wood stick, this big, it's a, the size of a baseball bat. And some had to be buried alive. All the memories, pictures, my pictures and as a kid, anything we lost right on April 19. ตั้งปีจัดสับหมอดอกอะลาวนี่ตึมปลายครัวหมอบ้านตรามคันนั่นอันนี้ก็เป็นคำเลยปงไปเคลียร์นั่นปนโกยมรถตึมตอนคำว
จนพิการเหมือนแม่นทำช่วยเสมาเล่าต้องดิช่วยตั้งปีเอาปากกอนเมียนจับกับบันปัดเท้าไอ้กอดตัวซ้ายพลงหลอหูตัวบานไปควาคานทำเจ้าหาช่วยจำนุ่งช่วยทุ่ยกอดมีเอาปากกอเปล่าเปล่าหนักไปดอกซ้ายที่เพียบเลยกอดกว่าหมดไอ้นู่นนะว่าพองหมดได้หมดเชื้อต้องยำช่วยตั้งไปชนะปีฟอนน้ำมอเนี่ยมาช่วยตั้งไปเอาปากกอชกาเปรตามพลงต้องตึกจับกับชายเองว่าเอาปากกอเนี่ยเธอเอาไอ้เราหดหมดแล้วเราต้องเรียนอุปกรณ์เปล่าเปล่าเจ้าใบนั่งยมถ่ายวิธีนี้ต้องดำใบดักซานักยมเจ้าจะดีรับบานตำนอนใจบองโอนโอนเจ้าหนุ่มครั้งเปล่าเปล่าป้าจังตะเป็นนั่งเลยจับดำตัวตัวโจชมโจนปิกาเนี่ยปัญหาที่ใบอันนี้ปัญหาที่ใบอ่ะตัวตัวโจชมโจนปิกาโจนปิกาเราตามบรรดาแคดกรองเนียเนียต่างอ๋อเราตูตามประเทศนั้นแต่ถ้ามันเรื่องมันประกันให้ก็มันเมียนแหลกขันในต่างอ๋มันประกันนั่นเนี่ยการโยบายให้ก็เอาเมียนแหลกขันในต่างอ๋อเอาแต่โจนปิกาคือยมตัวตัวโยต่างอ๋มายมรถกำจีบ่ารถกำไปเจียดำมืออ้องมังเอาเออโจ๊กใส่โจ๊กใส่ยืดอ้าโจ๊กขยมสบายจัดนะบองสบายจัดนะขยมน้ำมือนี้มือเท้าจำเต้ด้วยปีมวลเต้ขยมเออขยมดำสระตะตะบงดำสระดำสระให้ดำตะลุงมีอ่ะจับดำดำลงมีหายยังดำเจียดโดยเจียดนงลักรีฮะฮะลักรีหายยังดำเจียดโดยเจียดลึกจะลงสวีฮะทุกเด็กรุ่นไอจะนองกับโดยจบยังกระกัดมันเอาบนี่ยัยเต้าชมเออเธอตัวได้เชิงไปปรามไปชมกาตัวกาเขาบนี่ยัยกาวมวยชมบอลบอลดังได้บงเบียร์บอลดังสลัมได้เบียร์บอลตบปีเกิดเบียร์เลยมาเลยนี่เบียร์ชิมอสลัมบัตเฮยคนยุคนปรามเฮยขยมกระถาโยบายเลยเปียปอนหนังปลายหาวิลทมไม่ขยมอัดบานโยจัดตุกได้ขยมอัดบานจับร้อนไหมอันนั้นตุกเอาตีขังแขวกิดเฟื่อยยักขยมกระถานอนเนี่ยเฟื่อเสร็จกันบะเมียนกันนะปะหรือบะเมียนเนี่ยนากิโจมอกขยมตัวตัวสวากลมกิดตังอ๊อกขยมมันปะได้สายเลยมันทาเนี่ยนาเราจิตเราชงไงเนี่ยนาจิตเนี่ยนาเลยมาพวกน้องเนี้ยขยมก็ถ้าบ้านทำเล่นโยบายเจ้าให้อาจบ้านทุ่งโยบายที่ทำจับดำจับโยเศรษฐกิจโยมดอกเสียงที่จังอาจบ้านแปะพรเรื่องโยบายได้รองไงนี่มาเพราะถ้ายิ่งมันเอาอะไรนี่ยิ่งบังคับมันเอาเอเจรูนเอาไอกรีดบังคับมันเอาเอเจทุ่งเศรษฐกิจบังคับมันเอาเอเจปลาปลาสุดนั่งบังคับมันเอาไอเจ้าโรนเอาได้ไอ้กรีดเอามันเอาทุกคนทำลายการเงียบบอกโรนไอ้โอ้ที่ฮอตฮะอะไตตายุติชนชนพิการได้เจ้าอะไตตายุติชนนั่งคือเจตุเฮียนมันยังนะมาเจตุเฮียนได้กอดบานแล้วบังคู่เชิงคือผมพอดแล้วบังใส่สระเชียมสระเพียนบูชีชีวิตดำใบกาเปียตึกใดหรือก็ดำใบตันดาวยกหรือก็ดัวรุมลมระบอบนามวยแดง
It's very interesting that people there were not just ex Khmer soldiers. What we found, there were governmental soldiers, the state of Cambodian soldier, the soldiers from the borders. They called themselves the resistant fighters at one time. So we got a mix of soldiers there. About 50%, I would say, are Khmer uh, defectors. My mother asked me, um, how can you do this? Um, I said, I don't know, I have to do it step by step. The period of Khmer Rouge is three years, nine months, and 20 days. And I stay there through the entire period. I was a farmer, a forced to be farmer. I was personally in working in the water for about at least two years. Till today, I'm surprised that I'm still alive. Uh, we have to, to go under the water to cut the jute 15 hours a day. Uh, we didn't have any much food to eat, but the food was delivered by boat twice a day. We were in the water standing there to receive food and then we would never rest. We just stand and eat and then go back to cut the jute. Out of 300 in my group, there are only five people who live. That, to my knowledge, before I escaped. I escaped one time. I made it to the border, um, but I could not cross the river to go to the other side. I could swim, but there were so many Thai soldiers. The second time, I escaped again. I made it to, to a different border. There were so many soldiers again, came back. It was in 1978. I made it the third time to the border. Then I lived in, along the border for about eight months. I was in a refugee camp. I got sponsored by Khmer American along with a non-profit organization to go to the U.S. And I was a teenager still, I was almost 17. For me and for many people who've been through this Holocaust, it's not easy. Um, there are so many nightmares that I dreamt about and woke up with sweats. I woke up and thought that I was in a refugee camp. Woke up, I thought I was in a Khmer Rouge regime time. The pain and suffering that I've been experienced just came back and haunted me on a daily basis. There's part of me saying, well, you know, I'm okay, I'm in the U.S., but there's part of me said, well, I'm not really okay. I wanted to know what is driving this Khmer Rouge soldier that they become so vicious, that they ate people's lung, that they ate people's liver, um, that they, they, what, what possessed the people to do this thing? I never go to school, so my knowledge is very poor and just stay in the jungle with war in the army uh, with the Khmer Rouge. And me, I have no choice also because I don't know where I have to go. If you don't join your army, no food. Akira's parents were killed by the Khmer Rouge when he was nine years old. After that, he was conscripted into the Khmer Rouge army. When we 
join Yami, we have gun, we can have everything. If we don't join, they angry. It's no choice. So I do lay the mind also in the war. Me, I never count how many, but thousands, thousands, 20, 30,000 maybe. They need a lot of support in counseling and they need a lot of support in making a living. And there's a lot of discrimination toward them, including their own family as well. When they cannot make money, they cannot earn an income anymore. We visit their village. Um, actually, it's more than a year, it's almost two years now. They are still doing the business that we, we provided training to them two years ago. And they're, they're earning more money, they're earning more income. And <laughs> I love watching theater band. I don't ទីមួយដែលគ្រឿងដែលថារឹមទាំងមុននឹងទេខ្ញុំចាប់ដើមធ្វើឬក៏គេកំម៉ង On behalf of the World Rehabilitation Fund, Chime meets with Tuj Surli and the Ville Tom Village Council. The community members are very exciting about this project. They said this morning that they have not received any help, support from the government. They have not seen a plan to help them reintegrate in the society. They have not seen any concrete plan in the law that could provide comfort. One of the community leaders this morning said, we have thrived to arrive at this achievement from bare hand and with limbs and with no capital startup. From time to time, I do look at a person and imagine what what he has done in the past. I I, I said to myself, how many people has she killed or have ha, has he killed i wonder if he did that to my family member who are missing
Pol Pot's regime was toppled from power by the Vietnamese in 1979. It was only then that the mass murder of almost two million people was brought to light. During Khmer Rouge, they used this building as a, um, a, a torture site. And they started to put prisoner, prisoners in there, including educators, people who said something against the revolution, against the Anka or the organization. It can be men, women, it can be children. Um, who's placed in this, this, this small temple here. Um, hundreds of them were placed in there, and they, they keep filling it up. We know that they torture people in there. We, we hear some screaming at night. We know they were body um, bringing out of that building at nighttime to, to bury, not one by one, but maybe 10 at a time every night. And when they kill people, they brought it across this path. They dump it in the orange orchard, which is not too far from the tamarind tree where I sleep, where I used to sleep. 30 years ago, there were hundreds of people sleeping uh, around me who were in my team to, to work in a rice field. It used to be a lot of orange trees here because they bury so many bodies, uh, they over fertilize the, the orchard. Therefore, there's no um, orange tree left over. Among my family, we lost, uh, we lost two brothers. Um, they were arrested by Khmer Rouge. They were, um, they were educators. And we never see them again. And my brother, who married to a Chinese Vietnamese woman, um, they killed the whole family. Um, they let him and his son live, um, who's now, who are now in the U.S. Um, and one of my mother's sister um, family were completely wiped out, completely gone. There's a saying, you can for, forgive, but not forget. And that's living in me um, all the time. Yeah, if Tuchili asked me for a cup of tea to, uh, to chat about our past life, I would. Um, there may be some confrontation, there may be some uh, a bit of feeling dispersed uh, among the conversation. I don't. I, I, I mean, I don't really care. But I would be. I would be really happy to do that. I've done that in the past with um, with uh, some ex Khmer soldiers, top soldiers. Um, it was not an easy conversation. To Surly, the former Khmer Rouge soldier refuses to have a meal with Chaim Sip. He does, however, agree to talk over tea. ការនឹងមានពាក់ព័ន្ធនឹងការយកទៅសម្លាប់ព្រោះមានសាច់ឈាមខ្ញុំខ្លះគាត់ជាអ្នកធ្វើការធ្វើការចំណន់មុនចំ
ຈຶ່ງອັນມີມັນມືພໍອັນມີນາມີມືຕູ້ລະຕົກມືປະຊຸດຫຼືກໍກະສາດອ້າຍກະຣຽກນາອັນມັນມີມີກັນອັນມີ
Under threat of arrest, the leader of the opposition party fled the country. Cambodians, then and today, they still follow the leader blindly. And systematically, you become a robot, even if you are a human being, even if you have a feeling. And therefore, it's very easy to fall into the same trap. It may happen again. I hope that it does. The majority of people of people are victims. Some are living with discrimination till today. Some are living with their own different kind of feeling, better feeling. Are regretful what they did, cannot undo that. They would have to bury that with their own body when they die. Whereas me, I bury it before I die. I'm proud uh, uh, to return. Not too many people have done the same thing I, I have done. Working from, from your own South turmoil is, is a, a battle. It's a big battle. I'm sure many people can, can knock their head and say, yes, I know what you mean. <laughs>